Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. Happy thankful, thoughtful, taco Tuesday. Whatever Tuesday it is for you. Truthful Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, okay? Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Hey. Ho. Hey. Ho. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, you guys. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. I got up late today. I was up. Don't get me wrong. I don't know. I just didn't feel like getting up. I didn't go to bed till I think, 1 in the morning. I just couldn't sleep, you know? Um, so I... What did I do? Oh, I cooked yesterday. I went to donate yesterday. I'm 186. I, even though I feel like heavier. Um, I only gained a pound. But to me, that's a, it just feels heavy, you know? Um, and I feel like it looks heavy as well. So gotta work on that. I did pretty good yesterday. Um, yesterday was busy, y'all. It didn't make sense. I think I did a video yesterday. I don't even remember. <laughs> um, but since when I get off work, I don't have anywhere to go today or nothing to do other than um, get dinner, you know, started. I'm gonna get these. I'm gonna work on the videos today. Um, so what I'll do. Uh, I'll sit right here while I'm cooking dinner I'll sit here and get those videos up so when I'm done with dinner I will eat dinner and then take a shower or soak in the tub and go to bed and I will be going to bed early so I'm going to try to get everything I can done today right because there are a lot of videos well actually I know they're not going to all get done today um, but I'm going to get videos done today okay up tonight or by tomorrow um as many or as much as i can sorry guys i'm trying to clean my glasses um i i did not i washed my face brushed my teeth everything this morning but i did not put anything on my face yet uh cream wise or anything um so my eyes feel a little weird feel a little dry i guess um so i will before i start work and lotion my hands i haven't done that um, I just finished washing the dishes. I made breakfast. Um, just some cheese egg bagels. Um, I had sent Jeremiah a text, but then I left out, so I didn't get the response. Because <laughs> I didn't think he would respond as quickly as he did, nor be here as quickly as he did. Um, but he said he wasn't hungry, so that's fine. I had already started making it. Um, so it's in the microwave if he so decides to eat it later. Or if I decide to eat breakfast later or lunch. It's already made. Um, so, but I do have my coffee, which is overflowing right now. I think on my break, what I'm going to do, y'all, if the meat is ready, I will season it, you know, get it ready, season it, and put it back in the refrigerator, and I will put up the dishes that I washed today, this morning, and uh, clean out my microwave. so good and hot and I will clean out my microwave when I put the plate in there um, it looked like it needed to be clean to me and I'm like why I just clean it but I try to do it at least once a week um, just because things spill over stuff like that um, even though you should get it when it happens um, but yeah I forget this weekend the kids were here we heated up chili stuff like that so it makes sense I heated up my uh, shrimp boil so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get that microwave knocked out I'm going to mop the floor <coughs> and then like I said you know sit here and do these videos while dinner is cooking and that's it there's nothing else I need to do I vacuumed over the weekend so I don't need to do any of that this morning uh, today um, I called last night two bills um, so I don't have to worry about those two right now I have an idea of what I need to do and how much so on and so forth <coughs> I do need to go to the grocery store but I'm not going to um, I do need to 
get a few things, but <coughs> I'm not gonna go today. Woo! Let me get my inhaler, y'all. Give me a moment. <coughs> I don't know why. I'm a little. Okay. <clears throat> Could be the fan too. <clears throat> I wiped out the couch this morning, so uh, but it could be the fan too. Um, I asked Alexa the temperature today. She said in the 80s, and then she asked me if I wanted to know for the rest of the week. I was like, sure. So it sounds like it's going to be in the 80s all the way up until Monday. I didn't go past Monday of next week. And um, it's going to rain here and there off and on in certain days, be cloudy certain days. But the point was it's going to be in the 80s. So I went, would you stop getting, you know, I can't even, he wants to fight my hand because my hand is dangling over. <laughs> um, but the point is it's going to be in the 80s. Um, so I went ahead and turned the air conditioner back on and this fan because I don't want it to get hot. Right now, my window in the room is currently open, but I see some guys out there in the corner kind of loud. Look like they're going to be working, you know, construction guys. So I will most likely end up shutting that window and just turning the fan on. But we, we will see what happens because yesterday, y'all, baby. <laughs> We ended up not doing training, and I think I did a video about that yesterday afternoon. It was so busy yesterday morning. Like, I don't understand why it was so busy. It was back to back. I mean, and I can't even say I don't understand. I mean, it gets like that. It was just shocking because it had been so quiet for so long. And, I mean, it was, the calls was coming, y'all. And then, I want to say around 12, it's it slowed down completely. I was like, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. Because, <laughs> man, um, and then I started to get very nauseated. Oh my God, my head started hurting. And and the, the nausea came first. Like, I was so nauseated. Like, I felt like I had to throw up. And then I started to get a headache. And so one of the girls at work, she, she was like, do you have any um, ginger um, powder? And I was like, mm, yeah, actually I had ground ginger and I, I have tea. So she was like, you should um, fix you some tea and ginger and let her get rid of that headache. And so I was like, sure, why not? <laughs> I'm not a, I have ginger, but I'm not a fan of putting it in my tea like that. Um, when, I had forgot when I was working at um, Abbott Labs. When I was working at the lab, um, I would get headaches a lot. I was working third shift, and I would get headaches a lot. And one of the young ladies there had ginger candy because she would get headaches too because we're sitting in front of the computer all day. And so um, she would give me ginger candy, oh, which was horrible to me. It's horrible, um, but it wasn't horrible to the point that I couldn't tolerate it enough to relieve the headache and it was chewy um, but it was not something that it is definitely it definitely wasn't a go-to I would rather have my pills pop in my mouth wait a few and boom um, but I didn't have anything yesterday that I could take um, so I went ahead um, on my last break and I put some water in the microwave a um, cup of water tea bags, little bit of sugar, and the ginger, and I was like, Lord, don't make me throw up the thought of it, you know, but I went ahead and I drank it, and honestly, I did start to feel better a little bit after, I really did, I was grateful for that, so 
now I know what I'll do since I have that ground ginger. Um, because sometimes I was when I'm making stir fry and things like that, I sprinkle it over. Um, so yeah, um, I will be using that as a natural remedy. Um, it did work. It really did. Um, but like I said, it did, you know, calm down. It got slow, and I was grateful for that um, yesterday. So toward the latter part of the day, you know, it got quiet, and then it started to try to pick up. But at that point, it was time to go, and so I did. Um, when I got outside, I ended up, I wasn't, I was already leaving a little bit late because I had a, a, a call. And then I had to pee, I had to uh, complete the, I had to do the questionnaire, and then I left. And so on my way down, obviously, I took the garbage down with me. Um, there were two bags, I took those down. And I thought Jeremiah parked on the side, so I went out the back, down the alley, around the corner. No car had to come back around the car. The house, the car was right in front of the house, um, across the street, but in front of the house. And when I got in, I guess on Sunday, when Lavelle was helping him, you know, jump the car and all of that, um, the boy, it drives me nuts when they don't put things back, went through my trunk because my stupid batteries, not stupid battery, but the battery was in the back. I hate that idea. Whoever came up with that, duh. Especially with a hatch that could possibly get stuck, you know. So he had to go in, you know, and just my whole back was just decombined, just everywhere. Um, and that, that just, I couldn't even go no further. Even though I knew I was trying to hurry up and get there, I just, I couldn't make myself put my foot on that pedal. I got out the car and cleaned my car. <laughs> I had to put everything back like it's supposed to be. Like, I, it just, I, like I said, I, I think it's a form of OCD. I may not get it perfect, but at least it's the way I had it. Like, or just in some kind of organized way. Like, it just, ugh, I couldn't. <laughs> and so, in, after doing that, I ended up brushing the seats off. Um, the baby car seat was in the was uh, in the car, so I'm thinking, how did they get home if the baby car seat was in the car? You know, um, she needs to be in the car seat, so I they obviously must have another one. So I got this big old car seat in my in the back, uh, which is fine. I just put it in the back. I got everything organized. I have a bucket back there that has everything in it. Everything's lined up, <laughs> you know, uh, my bags, you know, as in order as they could possibly be, right? I have to get me a, um, a box to go back there or um, a, a container that put everything in nicely and neatly. Um, so that's that. Um, and then I, after doing that, I ended up wiping the seats down because that annoyed me for some reason. Cleaned out my ashtray because I don't smoke. Don't even want to smell it. I cleaned out my ashtray and then I was able to proceed to my destination. When I got there, so grateful that there was nobody in the line. I was like, wow. And she was like, no, there was a long line. She said, I got it down. I was like, look at God. Got in there, went straight through. As soon as I got up there, I didn't have to wait long. She called me right up. Um, I had to wait in the chair to get pricked on a little bit because um, it was only two people and there was a lot of people. Um, but she did get to me. It didn't take too long, you know. I had Sue. She knows how to stick me. She she does it where I get in there, boom, 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 boom. The machine going quick. I go in there and I pump and I get out. Um, there's no none of that no flow, high pressure. Every now and then it will be, and I think that's because of how I'm moving or whatever. Because I'm trying to play the game and stuff while I'm sitting there or watching a movie. Um, but yesterday it was a game. But I have enough sense that when I see it says no flow or something like that or hear it, I just have to adjust my arm because it's obviously how I'm moving. And that's what I did. Boom, boom, boom was out. Um, the only thing with that is if it does it too much because I'm not paying attention, um, instead of getting out of there after the fourth pump, I end up having to do an extra pump. Still fine because, you know, I got in, went through process, got on out. Oh, Jesus. Went and got gas, 
came home and like I said the rest I started the video with <laughs> so yeah that was my night um, got up this morning saying my prayers I hope you guys did the same and I mean I hope you said the prayers not just for your family friends and loved ones but all our brothers and sisters in Christ um, and because I <sighs> this morning when I woke up it was about I woke up off and on but the last time I woke up it was about 5 and I was like okay I'm gonna lay down until 6 I had already planned it in my head until 6 get up get everything ready I should be done by 6 30 I should be talking to you guys I should be done with everything by 7 work on my videos to 7 30 uh, close my eyes a little bit or just relax until 8 get ready for work um, but uh, when it was 6 o'clock I just was like no I can't I'm gonna lay on down to 6 30 <laughs> so I laid back down um, but I didn't go back to sleep. I, I closed my eyes. I didn't go back to sleep. I just began to pray. Um, and so once I started praying, I, I went ahead and got on up. And, you know, um, you know, if I get up, get myself taken care of, put clothes on, this, that, and the other, make my coffee, I could have been sitting here talking to y'all by 6.45. Um, but, no, I started washing dishes, just getting my kitchen in order from last night, cooking. Uh, I mean, um pork chops and spaghetti uh, uh, actually not spaghetti but pasta I didn't have any meat in it just the meat sauce um, and I used the regular spaghetti noodles um, so I made that fixture on my plate to go that's why he said he wasn't hungry this morning because he didn't eat that plate till this morning <laughs> um, so yeah um, that's it swept up the kitchen because you know Chapo I don't know why he takes the food out the bowl like why bother putting it in the bowl if you're going to take it out the bowl and get it all over the floor so I had to clean that up I think he's did it again since um, his whole area the mat and everything I had to clean up all that cat food so also I need to one of these my, the picture of my daughter is starting to turn so I need to adjust, adjust that um, I really do at some point need to get these pictures, um, frames and things under control. Like, this is August. Kids are going back to school. Um, next month is September. Like, it's going to go by. And I've been doing so good. I haven't missed a day of work yet. Um, I have no intentions on it. Um, because I've used up all my PTO. So, um, I'm definitely making sure that I don't miss any days, you know, um, if they offer VTO, then obviously, um, depending on how I, how I feel, I would definitely take it, but otherwise, I'll be sitting my butt right there and praying that there's no family emergencies or anything that happens that will cause me to have to miss work, um, or anything, um, yeah, so, something else I was going to say, but I can't remember. I had a dream, I think, last night, y'all. Lately, I've been having dreams, but I can't remember nothing. I just know that I had a dream. Um, but I can't remember anything. Uh, I guess that's okay. <laughs> um, well, yeah, it's okay. You can't remember. You can't. Oh. Oh, goodness. I'm definitely going to go to bed early today. Um... Yeah, I'm expecting great things. I really am. I say that all the time. I say it every day. And I'm going to continue saying it every day um, until it has come to pass. Um, I'm expecting great things financially, um, spiritually, uh, emotionally, <laughs> physically. I'm expecting great things, y'all. I'm expecting the Lord to move. Um, in my life, I really am. I, I I just know it, like I feel it, and I feel it every day. Um, some days I get a little down, I get a little, you know, um, discouraged. Um, but it don't last long, you know. Um, I just have to keep reminding myself, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know, because I am flesh, and you know, it's 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 easy to um, 
get caught up in life. <laughs> life ain't no joke for nobody. Even the, the, I, I don't care how poor you are, how rich you are. We all got issues, right? Some people call it poor people's issues. You know, some people call it rich people issues. Either way, we all got some sort of issues. We're all lacking something, right? Y'all, I had told you yesterday in a video about um, uh, this guy at the ferry, you know, a bunch of white people jumped on him and then a bunch of other black people came and jumped in to help him and some, you know, white people helped too. Um, but when I went to donate yesterday, I was listening to a lady, she was talking about the same thing. It was on, it's on Facebook. And she was talking about the same thing and she explained it more. Um, when I watched it, there was no sound because... Um, and I don't know if the picture had sound at all, um, but I was working at the time I looked at it. I just happened to look down, and um, she said, I think he was a security guard, and they were picking on him. If, if I'm understanding correctly, they were picking on him. <laughs> um, or it was the other way around. Uh, the security guard was the white guy picking on the black guy, or the black guy was the security guard. Either way, the white guy was was picking and starting and just being racist. Um, but I definitely gotta see more about that. But the point is, I'm just glad that others came in to to his aid. You know, because it's wrong. It's wrong. I don't care who you are, why you are, how you are. Wrong is wrong. There's no reason for a whole bunch of people to jump on one. You know, especially for no racist reasons. I can see if the man snapped out or lost it or, or you, you know, you know, because people go through things, you know, and their minds are not, everybody's minds are not always there. And some, or, or they, maybe they was on drugs or something and they just snapped off and, and you had to defend yourself but in a way where you try not to hurt him nor allow yourself to be hurt you know just trying to basically subdue gain, get some control of the situation until you know officers or whatever come but for a bunch of people to just jump on someone randomly in this you know and this person that's innocent does did nothing to no one and you're just attacking because of the color of his skin well that's horrible you know and you deserve everything you get <laughs> you know because that's just wrong and I, I know that I'm wrong for saying that and that's why I say God is good and I know that he's working on me I'm not perfect I'm not I'm working on um, staying in a perfect state you know what I'm saying um, but yeah that that was my take on that so guys it's 7.54. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I enjoy talking to you guys. Um, enjoy your day today. Um, I feel like it should be later than Tuesday, but it's not. But enjoy your day today. Um, I know my check is going to be short tomorrow, but I'm going to do everything that it is that I need to do in Jesus' name. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I'm just not going to worry. I can't worry about it. You know, even though I find my mind you know, drifting here and drifting there from time to time. I just have to stay focused. Um, but I feel like it should already be toward the end of the week already. Um, and I was so serious when I said I have no intentions on doing anything um, this weekend. Like, I'm so tired of going. Now, if things change, they change. But right now, as it stands, I, I have no intentions on doing anything. <laughs> I don't want to do anything, right? But anyway, guys, yeah, um, enjoy your day. If I don't talk to you later today, be the Lord's will, I will talk to you on tomorrow. Now, I will say this. I might rebraid my hair in certain areas, and I might color the gray. I might color the gray. <coughs> I do need to get some clothes washed, some laundry done. So if anything, I'll probably do that this weekend. Uh, I'll probably go to the laundry mat and, and do that. Um, yeah, I'll probably do that. But I was thinking maybe 
Uh, well, Lanzetta's yard need to be done. My mom's yard need to be done. So I don't know. Maybe, you know, Lanzetta's just been out of commission with her back and everything. So we'll see. Like, if we end up going to mom's and helping out, then I'll wash my clothes there. Um, and then maybe on the way back, hit Lanzetta's yard. I don't know. Um, I just know that things do need to be done. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later. I said that three times. Now, enjoy your morning. Bye now.